We see our image in the mirror every day. Do you know what type of mirror we use? This type of mirror is a plane mirror. What image is formed in the plane mirror? Let's find out. A plane mirror is a mirror with a flat reflective surface. An image can be captured or produced with optical devices such as cameras, mirrors, lenses or microscope. There are two types of images, real image and virtual image. What is real image and what is virtual image? Real image is the image that can be seen or formed on the screen. Virtual image is the image that cannot be seen or formed on the screen. Look at this diagram. The image of this candle is shown on a white screen. This shows that the image of this candle is a real image. A real image is produced when a slide is shown on the screen by using a projector. A real image is an image that can be seen or captured on the screen. When you stand in front of a plane mirror, your image will be seen in the mirror. Your image appears to be coming from behind the mirror. However, if you put a screen behind or in front of the plane mirror, no image is formed on the screen. The image that can be seen by the eye but cannot be captured on the screen is called a virtual image. The image formed by a plane mirror is a virtual image. Look at the picture of the boy standing in front of the mirror. What do you notice about the letter and number on his t-shirt? Have you had a similar experience when looking at your image on the mirror? What happens when the boy raises his right hand to touch his left ear? The image of the boy is laterally inverted. It turns your right into your left and vice versa. Thus, the image formed by a plane mirror is said to be laterally inverted. Can you state other characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror? Is the image of the boy in the mirror smaller, bigger or the same as his actual size? Did you see the image as being upside down or upright? So what you can see is the size of the image is exactly the same as the size of the object and the image is upright and not upside down. Let's continue with our investigation of the image formed by a plane mirror. The plane mirror is placed vertically on a piece of graph paper. A lighted candle is placed in front of the glass sheet and the distance of the image formed behind the mirror is measured. What do you think the image will be formed? Count the number of squares on the graph paper between the object and the mirror and between the image and the mirror. Are they equal in number? Yes, the number of squares on the graph paper between the object and the mirror and between the image and the mirror are the same. Therefore, we can conclude that the distance of the image from the mirror is the same as the distance of the object from the mirror. When a screen is placed behind a mirror, no image is formed on the screen. What is the type of image formed by the plain mirror? So, as what you have learned earlier, it is a virtual image. Next, let's make a summary on the characteristics of image formed by a plain mirror. The image of a plain mirror is virtual, upright, laterally inverted, and same size as the object. Next, let's answer a few questions. The word ambulance is written in an inverted manner in front of the vehicle. Why? This is to enable motorists in front to easily read it on their rear-view mirrors. The image formed 
in the rear view mirrors is laterally inverted. Therefore, people looking in their rear view mirrors or side mirrors can read it as ambulance. The diagram below shows the image of a clock as seen by Mary in a plain mirror. What is the actual time at that moment? The actual time is actually 11.45. This is because the image form in the mirror is laterally inverted. The mirror applies the concept of light reflection. Light rays that shine on the mirror will be reflected. When a ray of light strikes a plane mirror, it is reflected so that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The ray diagram illustrates how the image formed by the mirror is seen by the eye. The light rays appear to come from the image. In actual fact, the light ray come from the object through reflection by the mirror. Next, let's learn about curved mirror. A curved mirror is a mirror with a curved reflecting surface. The surface may be either concave or convex. Concave mirror produce image that is larger than the object, whereas convex mirror produce image that is smaller than the object. You have learned that the size of the image formed by a plane mirror is the same as the object. The size of the image formed by a concave mirror is larger than the object. Size of the image formed by a convex mirror is smaller than the object. We look at mirrors every day to clone ourselves. What happens if our mirrors are curved? If we use a concave mirror, we will look tall and thin. This is because light rays from the objects converge after reflecting from the mirror. If we use a convex mirror, we will look short and fat. This is because light rays from the object diverge after reflecting from the mirror. Different types of mirrors form different types of images. Therefore, different type of mirror has different usage. We look at mirrors every day to groom ourselves. We look at mirrors to make sure our hair is combed right, our face looks good, and our dress is smart. The mirrors we use are plain mirrors. Plain mirror helps a dancer to correct his movement. A plain mirror makes a living room look spacious. When an object is placed close to a concave mirror, the image form is upright and magnified. Because of these characteristics, a concave mirror is widely used in many daily applications. Why do ladies use concave mirrors when putting on makeup? Ladies use concave mirrors to get magnified and upright images of their faces. Why do dentists use concave mirrors in dental checkup? Dentists use concave mirrors so that they can see the magnified and upright images of hidden cavities in our teeth. Convex mirrors produce diminished images, means images that are smaller than objects. It has a wider field of view compared to the plane mirror and the concave mirror. This is why convex mirrors are widely used, especially in road safety, even though the images produced are smaller than the object. Where can you find convex mirrors on roads? Convex mirrors are at the junctions and sharp corners of roads. Why? Convex mirrors increase the field of view so that driver will be able to see around corners for oncoming vehicles. Other than on the roads, where else can you see convex mirrors in use? Convex and dome mirrors are placed in shopping stores to discourage shoplifters from stealing. 
The side mirror of a car are convex mirrors that allow the driver to see a wider view and other vehicles at the side and behind. So conclusion, plane mirror, concave mirror and convex mirror form images that have different characteristics. Each of these mirrors is used for different purposes in our everyday life. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.